There is no way that I only did 1,546 steps on Friday. Absolutely not. Now, I normally don't pay attention to the steps that I take. Um, I didn't get the Apple Watch for that purpose. And I got for more of when I am moving around and I want, I feel my phone going off, I can take a quick glance at my wrist without having to take my phone out of my pocket. I mean, literally, if I'm crutching around, it's a major inconvenience just to take the phone out every time. And I get, I could get up to 400 emails a day from work. So I, at, you know, at a glance, I can know where, you know, if this email is important or if the wife is contacting me or whatever. However, I'm looking through my history here and I'm telling you, this doesn't make any sense. Short of counting each step manually, I, I just don't get it here. I, uh, you know, all these are all over the place. I do the same routine almost every morning minus, uh, going through and, uh, just uh, maybe if I go out to lunch or, you know, but most of the time when I'm navigating the building, I have my watch and my phone on um, and everything just, I just never paid attention to this. But I really think it's wrong. I really think that this watch and phone combination is just not tracking my movements. Uh, my wife, myself, and our kids have basically the same setup. Uh, first generation Apple Watch. My Daughter and I have the both iPhone X's, and my wife has the 8. Granted, the 8 has the same chipset, but um, we're going to most likely just do my daughter and I, since we have the same phone and the same watch. And we measure the gates of the steps that we take, and myself and my daughter, we have about the same stride length. So let's uh, do some testing. Well, this really isn't going to work out for me. Uh, testing around here. Uh, ice, snow, more ice. I guess we're going to be going somewhere else. Honey, we need to go somewhere. Where do you want to go? And where do you go for bad weather if you want to count steps? You go to Sam's, I guess, and spend a lot of money that you don't have. So we're gonna try having myself, my daughter, and the wife. We're gonna compare all of our steps and see if the Apple Watch actually works for me because I really think it's not counting all my steps. My phone is the one on the left. Daughter's phone is the one on the right. As of right now, she is approximately 244 steps behind me in the app so let's see what happens so the control is going off MythBuster style here is that my daughter is the control she has the same device and the same phone as I do our gate is almost identical slash steps so I figured this would be the best case scenario for her to do a comparison between devices and people here I'm going to be speeding up this footage by eight times. There's no reason to sit here and do a hour plus long video of us shopping and then do a comparison test. Not exactly the greatest thing, right? So I figure, you know, shorten this video to under 15 minutes will be the best. And what we'll do here is I'll play some music here and then we'll take some breaks between, do some comparisons and see where we're at. What I want to mention here is also that there's no guarantees that we're going to be step for step. But what I noticed here is that I didn't want to mess this up. So I would go to where she went and then turn around 
and then go back right and then this way any steps that she's taken I've taken as well I figure this is just the best thing to do um, because <laughs> otherwise the comparison wouldn't work right Now, whoever thought that uh, picking out rotisserie chicken would take so long? And remember, this is sped up. Uh, the reason why the wife is now excluded from this is because she's scanning all the groceries with the Scan and Go app. So we're going to just continue on with the testing between myself and our daughter. And here's the numbers so far. Again, mine is on the left and hers is on the right. And she's catching some ground. Coming up on the only sample of the day. Yep, this was rather disgusting. I would try anything but ugh, disgusting. All right, now we're going to be checking in for the third time. Well, I was pretty shocked when I saw this. Again, my phone is going to be on the left, and our daughter's phone is going to be on the right. Her shows 995, and mine shows 846. So now she's ahead of me just by the app of 149 steps. But I was already ahead of her at the beginning of this. So now she's actually ahead of me by 393 steps.
As we finish loading up the car, we're going to go ahead and return the shopping cart. Again, I'm going step by step with her, and I'm going to return the cart. Now, this is where the numbers really show. Again, mine is on the left, and our daughter's is on the right. I started out at 551 steps. She started at 307. Now I'm at plus 474 steps, and she's at plus 1163 steps. Hmm. What does it mean to us? So, what does it mean to us? The people that are on crutches, the people that uh, rely on this watch for other things besides what I mainly use it for. I would love to know how far I travel in a day. I really didn't know if it was the phone or me. I've had several iterations of iPhones and now I have the iPhone X. Daughter has the iPhone X and the same Apple Watch as I do. I figured, you know what, now it's time for me to test it out. See if it's, if I'm doing something wrong if, or if this is actually the way it is, it's this accurate. But I had a feeling that it was wrong. And I believe with this video, I proved that it's wrong. It's over 50% inaccurate. Maybe it's because I only have one leg. It's only measuring that, that rhythm. Uh, our daughter had her hand in the pocket the whole, the, most, the whole time and one hand on her phone, just like a normal teenager would. I didn't have that luxury. My phone was in my pocket and I just hoofed it. My arm is swinging with my crutch. I figured if anything, that should help me out even more. But I would love to know your comments on this. If you could please comment below and let me know your thoughts. Maybe there's something I overlooked. I even went past her a couple of times, even then down that first aisle. I said, I'm retracing her steps. I actually went past it. I gave the watch even a little bit more steps than I believe that she did. I actually believe I did more steps than she did. So, you know what it is what it is, but I'd like to know your thoughts. And I appreciate you watching my channel. If you could please like, subscribe, and share, troll below. I know there's only going to be some of these because they're not going to want to hear this content. That, you know what, not all products are perfect, but there's always room for improvement. And I believe even the other models won't help a person like myself or others like myself. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you the next time on Tripod's Garage. There you go. There's Bear. See? You're famous. We'll catch you next time.